Hi everyone, in this video we are going to explain you how you can make a looping box in the concrete. For that first you need to know where is going to be light point or you can decide by yourself or you can follow the plan. As you can see I have a plan. In this plan the measurement is described where you need to make a light point. As you can see I have bedrooms, living room and corridor and the switch is also described where you need to make a pipe for the switches. This is the bedroom is, is mentioned for the center and this is the back balconies. You can see we can have two light point here. This is the another plan. Also is mentioned where is going to be light point. This is the living room. We have three light point here. Next to it we have bedroom. It's also described where is going to be a light point. This is a corridor. We have washroom. This is another bedroom. It's also described where is going to be a light point and also the for the switches as well. First we need to take the measurement. We need to find out the position we are going to make the light point. First take the measurement and also find out the position where you need to install the looping box. As you can see I already make a spray to where I need to make the ceiling rows. You can make the, take out all the measurement and mark it where you need to install it. This is the ceiling rows I need to install it as you can see how it look like. We have a space to make four conduit. As a bottom we have space to make ceiling rows. We need to make a tape to close this part so concrete should not go inside and also this bottom side. As you can see now the tape is already done from bottom side and also the small holes. Now the marking is ready. You can put all the ceiling rows on the place. If you have metal then you need to make the lighting straight or somewhere you can cut the metal as well. Then you need to find out where you need to make the switches and you need to drill it for the conduit to put inside the wall. Then you need to use the screws it's called 460 and make the ceiling rows on the position where you need to install it and use the cordless and tight it like that. Like this it will stay on the position, it will not move. First bend all the pipes, how much you need to bend them like this is easy to work. You can bend one, all of them. Then find out where you need to make the switches. You need to plan how you are going to make the piping. You need to plan as well how later on is going to be circuits. Prepare all the plan. So like this you can put all the pipe on the position where you need to connect them. As you can see I already put all the pipes on the place. All the pipes are on the place. Now I need to connect them. This is the conduit. We can cut the extra piece. Put it on the looping box. And check them. Then I need to make a glue. This is called PVC glue. You can use them. Like this when you put the concrete it will not move. Put a PVC glue. Wherever you have a joint always make sure you put a glue. Like this when you put the concrete it will not move. But don't put too much glue. Use it how much is important. Make a glue like that. And put it like this. And where you have empty space you can cut the small pieces like this and on the other side you can make a tape and put it them like that. Like this. Now you can see this is the pipe for the switches. I make the cable ties so it will stay on the position. All the connections are done. You can see this one. Even sometime you need to put it under the steel. Now you can see this connection is ready. This you can see all the rooms are connected separately and the corridor is connected together. You can see the rooms and the switches. Light point to light point and one is going to the switch. Another one going to this side to the switch. And one pipe is going to the DB. This is for the switch. And this is how the looping box look like when it's ready. You can see this is the living room. We have three light point here. This is the conduit for the switch. This is for the DB. And next to it we have a bedroom. We have in the center we have one light point here. And this is the conduit for the switch. This is the toilet. Yeah, as you remember the switch is always outside. So you can see the conduit is outside. And here we also have one more looping box. And also in the front balcony we have the looping boxes. You can see this one and the switch is on this side. 
this is the corridor we have here this is the conduit this is the another example you can see all the switches and remember one thing when you make the preparation for the conduit remember how you're gonna pass the circuits so like this you need to prepare it so each loop in box you have to uh, like neutral and earth this is another example the switch loop in box connected to this room one side you have a switch this is the last loop in box and is going to the switch thanks for watching see you in the next video